Well, good morning, guys. June 16th crop update. I'm a day early. That's because tomorrow is Father's Day and there's supposed to be a lot of storms tomorrow. And if it's like every other storm we've had so far this year, it'll go all around us and completely miss us. Um, but whatever. Um, the week, we had okay weather this week. We had some good sun, a little bit on the cooler side for the daytime highs. The Metro was recording uh, some pretty hot weather, and on some of them days, we were 15 degrees cooler than they were. Um, we sometimes get some cold air out of Duluth. Don't know how that all happens, but that's what happens. Um, so yeah, we, we, we're definitely cooler than the metro and kind of west around us and, and even sometimes to the east of us. Um, but yeah, it was a good week. No complaints. Uh, we could have used some moisture this week. We didn't really get any moisture this week. But everything is really, really starting to wake up and pep up. I'm at the cover crop. We'll, we'll look at the cover crop pasture. All right, the pasture. Hopefully in the next two weeks I get it fenced up. Growth is looking fantastic. Alfalfa and clover are really starting to show their presence. Uh, they're easier to find. It's it's looking really green. Every Every species is looking really green out here. I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to put a little nitrogen out here to help things go on their way or not. I'm not <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do. Um, but maybe I'll take the sprayer when I'm done doing corn this week for second pass nitrogen. Um, maybe I'll take and just run through with some drag hoses just to get a little nitrogen out here. Um, not sure if I'm supposed to or not, but I probably will just because why not? Um, but no, it's looking fantastic. Hopefully steers will be here in a couple weeks and and they can start doing what they need to do out here and that's build this soil up. Um, but yeah, everything's looking good. So let's go to the soybeans. So this is the field uh, just over here was where I did the crop report from a couple weeks ago. Um, they are really, really looking good. Um, I am I am happy. I am super happy. It's kind of funny. The, the soybeans and the no-till corn stalks grow a little different than if this field was tilled. Um, the way they the way they bush out versus grow up is a little bit different. So it, it's kind of deceiving um, if you run into a tilled spot. Like, oh man, see how much better them tilled stuff looks. But it, it's at the end of the year, the yield monitor doesn't lie that uh, for the last, the previous four, five, six years of doing side-by-sides. Uh, this has always made us the most money on beans. Don't care about yield. Yield is what you say at the coffee shop to brag. Uh, money is how I repay my bills, and this helps me repay my bills the best. Um, but nope, good week for beans. I gotta come out here, depending what happens for storms this weekend, is uh, Monday or Tuesday I wanna do second pass on this. My home built sprayer I did on 30 inch spacing. Um, the new sprayer is on 20 inch. So the, the old sprayer, every once in a while I'd get a little streak like that. Um, so the new sprayer is cleaning them up for me and working really good. But I'll get second pass herbicide on here and then get to uh, get the corn nitrogen. All right, well, let's go look at corn. Right, the corn, the corn took off. I put that 28% out. It's looking really good, except the spots that are traditionally uh, low or wet spots. Them spots are now showing yellow again, um, or they grew big but never got out of the yellow phase. Uh, this spot's ugly because it's where I come in the field and I do all my turning around to get lined up with my rows and stuff. But um, So I am going to have to do three passes on the whole farm. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt the corn by trying to be cheap on nitrogen. We'll, we'll get a bang for a buck on nitrogen. Um, so I'll, that extra pass is it, is only gonna benefit me, especially if the corn is showing a little bit of nitrogen stress. Um, but no, it, it's looking fantastic. We're we we could always use some moisture, but we're not getting terribly. I'm not overly worried about it. There is moisture right under the surface of the dirt right now. So I have zero complaints this week. Everything is, it was a good week. Everything's going as it should. Um, just got to get out in the next couple days, get started on side dressing the corn again um, to get them yellow spots up and running. 
and and yeah as of right now we are looking at a very good potential crop I don't know how much above average we're gonna be but it's it's looking like for sure we're gonna be above average uh, as of right now so I'm going to keep feeding it to keep pushing it above that average um, production you know and it, and hopefully we'll keep the season going and and uh, and we'll have a good fall but as of now corn's looking fantastic and uh, I'm gonna go start my chores guys thank you very much for watching hit that little red subscribe button leave comments ask questions do whatever you want down below share the videos um, but yeah thank you for watching